Okay, let's run the stutter issue. La historia de Caperucita Roja trata sobre una niña llamada Caperucita Roja que recibe la encomienda de su madre de llevarle comida a su abuela enferma que vive en otra casa al otro lado del bosque. Antes de partir, su madre le advierte que vaya directamente a la casa de la abuela sin desviarse del camino y que no hable con extraños. Caperucita. Roja comienza su viaje, pero en el bosque se encuentra con un lobo astuto. El lobo le pregunta a dónde va y ella le cuenta su misión. El lobo, con malas intenciones, sugiere a Caperucita que recoja algunas flores para su abuela, con la idea de ganar tiempo para llegar primero a la casa de la abuela. El lobo llega a la casa de la abuela antes que Caperucita. La devora y se disfraza con su ropa, esperando a que llegue la niña. Cuando Caperucita Roja llega, encuentra a la abuela con un aspecto muy extraño y comienza a hacerle preguntas clásicas, destacando sus grandes ojos, orejas y dientes. A lo que el lobo responde que son mejores para verla, oírla y finalmente comerla. En ese momento, el lobo salta de la cama y se traga a Caperucita Roja. Posteriormente, un cazador que pasa por la casa nota algo extraño. Entra y encuentra al lobo dormido con un vientre abultado. Sospechando lo que ha ocurrido, el cazador abre la tripa del lobo con unas tijeras y rescata a Caperucita y a su abuela. Luego rellenan la barriga del lobo con piedras. Y cuando éste se despierta, y trata de huir. Las piedras lo hacen caer al suelo y muere. La historia termina con Caperucita Roja aprendiendo la importante lección de no desviarse del camino y no hablar con extraños. Ok, so that's it. As you can listen, uh, there is a lot of stutter. We have like uh, silences between words. And this is basically the the main issue so reviewing the code um i'm going to add alongside this video a link to the git repo for this uh for this example what i did was basically create this uh load function that is going to return a client for openai and i'm going to load i'm going to set the api key for 11 laps at the same time And lastly, I'm going to add to the uh, to the system to the system path the path to the MPB media player. Uh, that program is required for uh, playback the audio back to the user. So where am I getting this OpenAI key and the 11 last key and the path to the MPB path? I I included a .emb underscore example file. And you only need to copy and paste your API keys on this file over here and over here. And whenever you have your MPB um, executable store, you need to put the, the file path right here for the MPB player. This is required for the application to, to play back the audio back to you. Uh, I included a readme file that you can check out if you want to see details on what did I do um, regarding the creation of the virtual environment, uh, how did I install OpenAI, how to install 11 Labs, and how to how to install uh, the Python-.m package, uh, and how to use this. Um, I should include here, like this part over here, because this is new. And there we go. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to send you this video to Discord, and I'm going to include the uh, the URL for this repository so you can uh, clone it and, and and check it out by yourself. And as you can listen very clearly, we are encountering a lot of a stutter. Uh, the part of the code that I think is the issue is here. Uh, but the issue is not on my end. I believe it's on the API end. So what's going on? I am using um, 
uh, a voice from 11 labs and creating a voice instance using this ID. If you don't have, uh, if this doesn't work for you, uh, I will suggest to, uh, to uncomment this line and comment out this line over here. And this is a default voice, so this should work perfectly. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be using this one. Um, you can change the prompt if you want, but the important thing is that you choose another language other than English. So in English, the uh, the issue is not very. Uh, it happens, but it's not really. Uh, uh, it's not really happening enough to be noticeable. Uh, that's that's the first thing. Uh, so I am asking, you know what, summarize the story of the Little Red Riding Hood in Spanish. And that's my prompt. And right here, I am uh, generating the 11 laps audio. I am using this text stream gener um, this text stream function. And I am passing as argument the user prompt, this one over here, and the OpenAI client. Inside this um, this function over here, what I'm doing here, I'm going to be yielding the text directly from uh, the OpenAI stream. I am using a stream mode here. So whenever, so whatever uh, text is being generated is going to be generated in a stream mode. And in this for loop over here, I'm going to be iterating over the OpenAI stream and I'm going to get the content and I'm going to be asking out um, if I want to print out the uh, the output to the to the screen, like like here for example, so all of this text is going to be printed out. Uh, but you can opt out of that. You just need to change this print out uh, argument from from true to false, and that should be uh, enough. If you don't want to see the text, um, and it's going to print out the text here, optionally, obviously, and then I'm going to be yielding the the actual text from OpenAI. So this is a, a generator function. And this is the function that is going to be used here as an input text over here. Uh, I am using the 11 multilingual version 2 model. A stream mode is on. Uh, and I'm using this voice over here. And right here is the line that is going to play back the audio for, for the user. If this fails, it's probably something wrong with the path you define uh, right here. You need to define this as um, uh, this path correctly, or else the program is not going to be able to find uh, the MVP video player. Uh, I think this is all I could do for today. Let me know if you need more information, but I, I think this is more than enough. Thank you.